And in this video, I'm going to see if sodium carbonate makes any difference to my distilled spirit. So I've got myself some soda crystals. Now this uh, comes in different forms, different products. Um, soda ash is another one. It comes in powder crystal form, whatever. Um, but you do need to make sure it's the 100% stuff, right? With no added extras in it. Not washing powder, okay? So things like that you want to avoid. You want to stick with basically just the pure concentrated product that is sodium carbonate and not sodium bicarbonate either but you can use that but 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 and I won't digress too much also please for the very few of you out there don't be a snowflake if you haven't come across this product and this technique before don't get all twitchy on me okay um, it's been proved the technique and this has been proved over a number of years and i'm not the one to go around chucking chemicals like this into my wash okay it hasn't been dreamt up by some mad scientist that suddenly appeared and gone hey you know what you should do try this okay so i'm dubious but after a little bit of research online you will find it's okay and apparently it does work. I was sent an email from a chap called Carl. Now, in his email that he sent, oh, that's fantastic. I mean, it's so clear and concise, step-by-step -step method of how to do this. And best of all, right, he's done his research. He's had a go at this numerous times. He's refined his own technique um, and he sent that technique to me that works best for him so it is relatively simple uh, nothing too shocking but it's just the final product that we're looking to change okay so to start with what we need is a fermented sugar wash like this one and you can use whatever yeast and nutrient you normally use for your sugar washes but for this example I use the turbo yeast and if you don't like turbo yeast, well, I'm afraid you could just go and suck my big hairy ball. Okay, so the next thing to do with the cleared sugar wash is to do a very simple stripping run. Yeah! And Carl has suggested to try and remove some of the four shots at the beginning of the stripping run, which is pretty handy because that's the kind of technique that I would do anyway. So for a 20 litre sugar wash like this, I would run it slow at the beginning, taking off the first 50 ml. And then after that, I would turn up the heat and do the rest of the run nice and fast. In this case, the takeoff rate was one litre every 20 minutes. And I kept distilling all the way down until 10% ABV, which meant what I had collected absolutely reeked of tails. And so from that stripping run I ended up with 6 litres of spirit at 46% ABV. I've now watered this down to 30% ABV. Now that's a little bit lower than the normal 40% that you would go for if you were doing a double distillation but to be honest I needed that extra volume just to make sure that my heating element didn't run dry during this run. So that's the only reason I've gone a little bit lower. And it is at this point that the sodium carbonate gets added. So don't get creative and start putting it into a fermenting wash or anything else like that. Only add it to the already distilled spirit that will be distilled again. Now, as for the quantities of sodium carbonate, I've seen the usual amount that's used is one teaspoon per litre of spirit. But Carl has had good results using a lower ratio than that. So for this batch, I'm going to use half a teaspoon per litre. Now, this substance is safe enough, but please read the safety guidelines on the packet before handling it. 
because noticeable precautions include skin contact, eye contact, and inhalation. And on to the spirit run. Now, if you haven't seen my setup before, then this is what it normally looks like if I'm trying to make a neutral spirit. I've got a 25 litre kettle with a 2000 watt element in it. And that is controlled by my SCR unit, which is the blue box there. It's got a three inch column that holds eight bubble plates with a pre-condenser on the top of that. And then there's also the long shotgun condenser as well. And as you can see, I've got quite a few jam jars with some interesting neutral spirit in them. So now the spirit run has finished, this is what the wash looks like. And even though this has been heated for a few hours, you can clearly see some of the sodium carbonate in the bottom of the wash. And I think that's to do with the fact that this salt does have quite a high boiling point. Right, so let's get stuck into this one, shall we? Okay, so here are all of the cuts that I've made. Starting at the top is the 50ml of four shots from the stripping run, and the rest have 200ml in them that was collected from that spirit run. And this is where things are definitely different. You see, jars one and two, well they have what I think have some heads in them. <laughs> and I say think because it's not as defined as it usually is. And I think it does smear slightly, just a little bit, into jar 3 as well. But like I say, it's hard to pin down that head's cut on this run. And going from jar 3 all the way through to 13, I can pretty much safely say that I'll call all of these the heart's cut. And they all obviously have that real strong smell of alcohol to them but also an ever so slight sweetness to them as well. As for jars 14 and 15, well, by now you're expecting me to say that these are absolutely humming with tails, uh, but no. Just like the heads, I'm finding it is a bit of a blurred cut, and if, yeah, if I was getting really, really fussy, I do think I can detect just a hint of tails in both of these. As for jar 16, well this one is definitely different from the others and this one really, really does smell of tails and also it's got a, a very prominent alkaline taste to it as well. So at this point, yeah, I ended the spirit run and from all of these, I think I'll be keeping jars 3 all the way through to 15. So... As a quick comparison, I would expect to get around 2.2 litres at 94% ABV from a single distilled 20 litre turbo yeast sugar wash, okay? For this one, the, with the added sodium carbonate in it, yeah, I ended up with 2.6 litres. That's given me, I don't know, somewhere around 15% extra in the final product, hmm. But this is far from a conclusive result. So you might be asking yourself, what is the sodium carbonate actually supposed to do? Well, my limited understanding of all this is that the sodium carbonate interacts with the fusel oils in that spirit, but not really with the ethanol. So it somehow manages to suppress the unwanted esters when that spirit is being distilled and that helps to give a clean pure neutral spirit at the end of it but yeah i'm probably wrong in some respect here aren't i so please chip in with all of your comments and ideas uh, and your knowledge as well because i really do need it okay so there's going to be a couple of people out there absolutely itching to know what the pH levels are. So let's go through that now, shall we? Over here, I've got a representation of the stripping run. The pH level of that seemed to be around five. Then 
I added in the sodium carbonate, didn't I? And that did raise it, as to be expected. And it raised it up to 11 on the pH level. Now, I then distilled that, and I've got this product here, which is sat at 8 on the pH level. So we've gone low, high, and now we're at close to a neutral. But over here, I've got um, a normal single distilled turbo yeast sugar wash. And this is sat at four on the pH level. So eight and four, and they're both at 94% ABV. So that does show there's definitely some carryover of the sodium carbonate into this final product, isn't there? But that's not necessarily the end of the world, is it? As a, a side note, not very interesting, but just as a side note, I've got these two drinks here. Now, these have been watered down from these two bad boys, okay? And I've watered them down to 40% ABV using whoa, just some tap water. This tap water that we've got, uh, it's just over seven on the pH level, I think. Splitting hairs, it's seven on the pH level. So, I've used that water into these. What do you think these are now sat at on the pH level? Bearing in mind, we've gone from an eight into there and a four into there, and we've added seven into there. Well, this is where I'm not 100% sure if it's my equipment playing silly buggers on me. I don't know. But these are both sat at eight on the pH level. Woo. So they're both in the same ballpark now. Huh. Interesting, maybe. Conclusive, definitely not. But what we need to know is what it actually tastes like. So this is what it's come down to. Over here, I've got the horrible, coarse, gross burger, harsh, distilled turbo yeast sugar wash. And over here, I've got the nice, delicate, smooth tasting turbo yeast that's been distilled, but with the added sodium carbonate in it. Let's get stuck in. Turbo away! Cheers. Hang on. I forgot to mention, I have watered these down, but not at a 40%. I forgot that. They're high-ish 40s, almost 47, 48% these are. Because um, I wanted to get that kick. And I got that kick. Uh, yeah. Through the throat, um, aftertaste not really. It's neutral, but very you know, it, uh, very burny on the alcohol side. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I'm going to need a bit more. Whew, God, I did take quite a, a big gulp of that, didn't I? Anyway, let's do the same with this one: the sodium carbonate. Ah, okay. Yes, there is a difference in smell immediately. But anyway, cheers. Let's see how she goes. That's uncanny. I think you can tell. That is... That's extraordinary. That... I wish you could be here right now to do that comparison yourself. That has definitely got the thumbs up for me. Now, the questions, the questions, questions, questions. I don't know what to say other than, yeah, that has really, really worked. But there's always a but with these kind of things, isn't there? I've done you know, different sugar washes, uh, tomato paste sugar washes, kale sugar washes, um, stinging nettle sugar wash, and uh, oh, multi-generation turbo yeast sugar washes. And they've all had that really, really defined uh, cups when you distilled them, okay? This one kind of like had that, 
um, but not on the head so much and definitely not on the tails until getting close to the end of the run with this one. Um, I've done my normal process when you know time and time again with the distilled turbo yeast sugar washes and again what I need to do what I need to do is a double distilled or double distillation on the normal turbo yeast sugar wash and see if that smooths it down in comparison to this one that'll be a good one to do later on possibly now if you've done this before put a comment in if you know why the sodium carbonate has really changed the final product please let me know as well sorry i will shut up in a minute thank you ever so much for uh, your instructions carl so there we go and until next time make sure you keep on shining <laughs>